Hi, in this video we are going to learn how to install WordPress on a local server using XAMPP. For that, we need two files. First, we need to download the latest version of WordPress. Uh, for downloading it, just enter this URL and you will get to this site. From here, you will see that I have the WordPress 4.6.1. This is the latest version. You might have different version, but you have to download the latest version of WordPress. So I'll click on it. You can see that it has been started. I have already downloaded it. Another thing that you need to download is the ZAMP. Just Google it, the ZAMP, and from the first link will be the download link, uh, and that will take you to this page. From here, you need to download the particular operating system version of ZAMP. Right now, I'm using Windows, uh, so I will download this ZAMP for Windows. I've already downloaded it. Uh, you need to download in your system both the WordPress file and the ZAMP file. So you can see that I have downloaded this WordPress site. You need to extract it. I have already extracted it on my downloads folder. Another thing you need to download is the ZAMP. So you can see that this is the ZAMP. I will double click it and I need to first install it in my system. So it's being opened. You need to install it with the default settings. I'll go with it, just keep it in the same folder that is showing right here. I'll click next and I'll click next again. I'll click on next. Okay, it will take some time in order to download and install the ZAMP inside your system. All right, and it will install uh, the environment for installing all the websites related to uh, these management systems, the so WordPress, uh, Joomla, and other as well. So you can see that it has been installed in my system with a dialog box saying completing the ZAMP setup wizard. I'm going to click on finish. All right, and then it will show this pop up. I'll keep the language to US and it will open the ZAMP window. You can see that uh, it has different options, Apache server, mostly right now in the world, 50 to 60% of websites uh, are running on an Apache server at the back end. So it is very important that our WordPress site should be on Apache server and it has MySQL database for uh, running the database at the back end. We are not gonna using FileZilla Mercury for this tutorial, it has its own benefit as well. So I'm going to start Apache and MySQL. Click on start and click on start on MySQL as well. Now I'll go to the installed installation directory of my exam. So I'll go to C. You can see that there is a folder I installed. Uh, you might have installed in another folder. So go to that folder as well. From here I will Go to htdocs and this is where our site will reside. All right, right now just go and check out if our ZAMP is working or not. So I'll click just enter localhost. So you can see that it has started a dashboard for the ZAMP. This means that ZAMP is installed in our system successfully. You need to first check it. Uh, before installing WordPress website uh, that if your ZAMP is working fine or not. So now let's check if our MySQL server working or not. So I'll just go to localhost slash php my admin. So you can see that this is the user interface for our databases. These are the default databases already existed. Here, uh, we need to create our own database for our WordPress website that we are just going to install here. So right now, we don't have any custom database right here. So leave it as it is and just go here and create a folder with the name of your WordPress website. Uh, I'll name it my site. Okay. And now I will go to databases and create a new database, my site underscore db. 
so I will click on create you can see that my database has been created uh, right now we don't need any tables uh, this requires if we have to install uh, our own website that we have coded by our own but we are gonna use the WordPress the website management system so we don't need to create table by our own self it will be already created once we install a theme and uh, add a new post inside our wordpress website so we just need to uh, create the database my site underscore database you can name it as as you like so now i have created it and you can see that i have named it my site so i will go to localhost slash my site so you can see that uh, my site is working fine okay and now what we need to do is open it and paste the wordpress files inside that directory copy these files all right and then go to download no uh, it was in here C zap htdocs my type and I'm gonna just press ctrl C in order to copy it right here so it will take some time right now it's showing 2 minutes 30 seconds so you can see that the files have been copied in my my site folder all right now i'll go to this url again and reload this page so you can see that first of all it will pop up these options asking us to select the language this is the wordpress behavior so i'll click on continue all right so now i will just click on let's go now we need to give it the database name that we created in our localhost php my admin so our database name was my site underscore db my site underscore db and our username in order to see that what has to be the username or what has to be the password uh, we need to go to this file wp config sample so i'll right click on it and open it in any notepad okay and if i come right here you can see that here we need to define our database name here will be the username there will be the password so for the database name we need to change it to my site underscore db username uh, the most famous name is the root so keep it we don't need any password and then control s to save this file all right and now I will go and change the username to root, remove the password, and database host is the local host, as we can see right here. Okay, so I'll just go and click on submit. You can see that it is showing a message. All right, Sparky, you have made it through this part of installation. So I'll click run the install. Now I need to set the title for my WordPress site and username and password with which we will uh, log into our WordPress website. So I will just enter my name, password. Uh, I don't want any complex passwords. So let's say A, B, C, D, E. Okay. So confirm the use of weak password. Um, let's give my email ID so we don't need it right here right now so discourage search engines no so remember that we have username Umer and ABCDE and I'll click on install okay we need it actually so I'll enter my email ID right here and then check the confirmed use of weak password okay i'll click install wordpress so it will show the success message and i will just log into my wordpress website so username was umair and password was a b c b e and i will click on login 
so you can see that our WordPress have been installed in this directory and now we can install theme we can install plugins and uh, if you want to see our website just right click and open our website so you can see that this is the title that we gave and this is the default post that whenever we install wordpress at start uh, it is the default uh, post exists there so uh, you can see that we can make changes in posts add media pages comments uh, we can add plugins as well uh, so it's very helpful if you are new in learning wordpress and if you want to uh, learn wordpress in depth uh, you don't need to buy a hosting or a domain uh, from the global server in order to learn WordPress. You need to install WordPress locally in your system and then play with it. Uh, it's also very helpful in my case when a, whenever a client uh, gives me any task and don't know the actual exact requirement. Uh, I need to install that WordPress locally in my system in order to confirm from him that is it right for him or not. So in that case it is very helpful. So always start WordPress website on a local server so hope this will help you